Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, uh, HDP Certified Developer Exam. In this, we are in data analysis. So far, we have covered uh, up to defining a partition high table and in this video, we will cover defining a bucketed high table. So as I have explained to you earlier, Hive supports only two types of partitioning. One is list partitioning, which is called as partition and use partitioned by while creating the table. And the second one is uh, bucketing, which is similar to hash partitioning. So if you click on this link, it will take you to the uh, example. Okay, and this is how uh, the bucketing uh, syntax looks like. So within the bucket, if you want to sort by particular column, you can do it uh, using sorted by uh, like this. And then you have to specify into the number of buckets. So uh, for bucketing, uh, sorted by is optional, but if you want to sort it, you can use sorted by also. And uh, related to syntactical differences between partition by clause and clustered by clause, if you look at partition by, you not only specifying the column names, but also data types. And also these columns are not in the column list uh, here, which is after create table table name uh, in the circular brackets. Uh, hence, you have both column name and data type uh, as part of the partition by for all the columns that are being used for nested partitioning. Whereas for clustered by, you cannot do the nested uh, clustering. You can only do clustered by on a particular column and then you can sort by another column. Uh, hence, uh, the, uh, in this case, the column names in both clustered by and sorted by has to be part of the column list after create table table name in the circular brackets okay so as we are defining already as part of the column list you don't need to specify the data type as part of the clustered by so make sure uh, you, know, you don't specify the data type when it comes to clustered by and make sure you specify a data type in partition by and also that column name which you are using in the partition by uh, in clause should not be used as part of the column list in the circular brackets after create table table name uh, 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 syntax okay so now let us create a bucketed table so i am launching hive here i am using a database called read let me see so use retail underscore ods for this and then the table name which I will be creating is orders bucket. Okay, and we have to give the all the column names. As we have seen earlier, orders have four columns. First one is order ID, which is nothing but integer. Order date. In this case, I want to store it as string, but our source table, as we have seen in the previous video, have the order date as begin. So we'll do the transformation while loading into this table. And then order customer id again int and then order status string and to so if we decided to cluster or bucketed by order id you have to say clustered by order id okay into the number of buckets in this case i am using 16 buckets Okay, and if you want to do partitioning and then bucketing, uh, you have to start with partition by first. So a, um, uh, the buckets can be only part of the partition. It is not the other way around. You cannot create a bucket and then create partitions under it. It is not possible, but you can create a partition and then you can create the buckets. So even if you go to the main syntax, uh, which we have been referring, you can uh, uh, get to the idea about the order. So after create table, table name, column list, you have to start with partition by if you want to partition the table and then clustered by and then if you want to specify the row format, stored as, etc. can be defined. So in this case, we will specify row format delimited fields. So all the fields should be terminated by pipe. Okay, and then stored as, you can define whatever uh, uh, format you want, but the default is text file, I'm using the default. If In case of default, you don't in, even need to specify stored as, but there's nothing wrong if you specify it. 
if you want to use any other format as part of the certification they will specify whether it is ORC, RC file, Parquet or Avro you should have used the same in some cases they might give the custom input format and output format for that you have to use these ones along with the survey so you have to say row format survey and then survey name uh, and then you have to specify input format and output format if you want to use the custom um, file formats other than the sequence file, text file, RC file, ORC, Parquet and Avro. And now hit enter table is created. As we have uh, seen, uh, you, we cannot use the load command to load into data into this table. We have to use insert command only. So now we can say insert into table orders bucket okay and then we have to do the transformation uh, so for that order id and order date we want to store it as date but uh, on, on our retail stage orders which will be sourced for this uh, insert statement uh, the order date is uh, begin so for that we have to do uh, from unix time cast substring order date 1 comma 10 as begin and uh, this will be our order date so make sure you give aliases for all the expressions like this the, uh, the I have explained the logic already in the previous video if, so if you don't understand go go back to the uh, other video where I have explained the logic and apply these functions and then order customer ID and order status from retail underscore stage dot orders okay so there is some syntax error so cash yeah so there was a bracket here it should be uh, here so I deleted that and paste uh, type it here okay so I have to first run the insert statement and then this select clause and then this one still it is complaining yeah so this should be the logic so let me now launch hive again now I got the correct logic so I will use that one so first insert into table orders bucket and then select order ID from Unix timestamp cast substring of order rate 1 to 10 and cast in as begin so um, the change is I, I have uh, added the bracket here instead of here uh, because cast itself will take the column name or expression as the data type so you can switch one one data type to another data type using the cast function and then from unix time so this is for from unix time and this is the alias hit enter and then order customer id order status from retail stage dot orders so it will run a map reduce job and load the data into the orders bucket so when it comes to bucketing uh, we typically use insert only to load the data into the bucketed table and, uh, because it requires the transformation which is tightly coupled with uh, hive engine uh, using the hash algorithm and all those things in this case the data will be uh, means the bucketed column which is order id on that uh, hash algorithm will be applied which will generate an integer and then it will be apply the mod function using the number of buckets which we have defined while creating the table and the depending upon the reminder which it gets after applying a hash mod uh, the number of buckets it will put the data into the particular file so in this case you can see that data is divided into 16 files overall there are 68,883 records 
and uh, now you can say dfs minus ls let me get the path described formatted orders bucket and hit enter you can see this location go to this and run dfs minus ls and hit enter you can see 16 files created each one will have its own bucket of data so data will be evenly distributed if you are using the primary column primary key column as part of the uh, bucketing so the advantage of bucketing is if you want to divide data into evenly distributed buckets you can use bucketing on top of that you can run sampling queries uh, which will actually run faster uh, when you actually create tables using bucketing those are all advanced concepts which are not that important for the certification and hence i will not get into those or too many details as part of the certification curriculum but as part of the apache hive i will try to cover these details in separate video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and uh, if you want to discuss further about hadoop certifications or big data please join my linkedin group called itversity minus certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye